Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's Thomas. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine. If you guys wanna see more of me, please hit that subscribe button, like this video, and turn on post notifications so you guys can get notified every time I upload a video. Now let's get right on into the video. The first step to my makeup routine is primer. Now I don't really use a primer, I use like a, like a hydration juice. So I like to use this LMS Superfood um, hydration juice. I got this in a box of charm a while ago, and I don't use it as a moisturizer. I use it as a primer because this primer is super sticky. And I love, it ha I guess it's a like cooling effect to the skin. And it's super duper hydrating, but it's a little sticky to use as a moisturizer. So I like to use it as a primer. The next step in my makeup routine is foundation. So I used, I used to use like um, the Rare Beauty foundation or the Design Home Runner J Lift makeup, but now I do use Dior Air Flash. So this is the Dior Air Flash foundation in the shade 2. It's a little dark for me, but I managed to make it work with concealer. So shake it up, take an aerosol spray can, you open it, spray some on your face. I know the great thing about like about this foundation is that it's not too full coverage. So it is full coverage a lot of it, but it's not to the point where it's gonna like make you break out. And this is what all the celebrities use for their red carpet makeup and stuff like that. So I decided I'll just spend the sixty dollars sixty dollars and I'll just get this foundation. So I got it at Dillard's in Florida and I've been using it ever since then. I went, to, I got this a month ago, and there's still a lot of product left in here. Uh, I believe there's 2.3 fluid ounces in here. So great, 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 great. Could not recommend this more enough. I use a foundation brush to blend this out, and then I go in with a beauty blender after. This is the Real Techniques foundation brush, the Expert face brush. It's kind of dirty right now, but. That's what I use on an everyday basis. This is like a no filter kind of makeup. So I'll just blend out with the beauty blender because I do have some brush strokes on my brush. The next step in my makeup routine is concealer. So I like to, I like to use the Rare Beauty Concealer in the shade 200C. And I'm almost out of it. But I did get a replacement. I, I want to try out the... Um, the MAC Studio Fix Concealer, which I want to use today, but I'm gonna stick with my everyday because it's pretty much what I use every day. So I'll take a little bit right there, a little bit right there, a little bit right there, put a little bit on right there. No, I, I kind of just do concealer to brighten up my face and I'll put a little bit up here and right there. Just to cover up some of those blushes. And I do take the same foundation brush so it doesn't look like two entirely different shades on the face. So I'll just blend it, blend it out. And if you see I'm looking over here, it's because my mirror is right here. Right there. So that's that's why you guys see me doing that. It's because my mirror is right there. And um, I want to get a new tripod um, off of Amazon. So if anyone can recommend any... Please let me know because I need to get more into YouTube because I want people to express themselves as a gay man. I do know how it feels and it's not okay. Uh, this is like a little chit chat, get ready with me. Um, I don't feel as if people are being treated correctly in today's society. So I'm not going to be under this out. So. I, want, I like to express myself and tell people it is okay to be gay, and it is okay to wear makeup, it is okay to wear bags, and it is okay to do all of this stuff. So yeah. So now I take two powders. I take the Milk Makeup Powder under my eyes, and then I put the Maybelline Fit Me all over my face. So while we're doing that, I do I do want to let you guys know, right now I'm not entirely sure what I want to do with my money. I kind of want to save up for a Chanel bag. Or maybe even like a Louis Vuitton because I don't have one. I have two Gucci's, one over there, and then one's right over there. So, not entirely sure yet. But y'all go follow my Instagram. I'll leave it up on the screen somewhere right here so that people know like um what I'm gonna do because I'm on YouTube all the time. 
but I plan on being on YouTube a lot more because, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just saying all my concealer and the places where I get like really oily. But I plan on being on YouTube a lot more now because I have a lot more interest in it. I didn't really have a big interest in it a while ago, by the way. That was a real Technique's beauty plunge. Now I'm going to go on with the Gucci brush. I'm going to go on with the MAC 150S brush. A little bit of powder. And kind of just set the face. But I plan on being a lot more active on YouTube. I'm not, I want to upload like twice a week. If not more than twice a week. Because I want to get to that. I want to give you guys the best content. And I want to work on what do you what, what do you guys want me to do? Would you guys like me to do handbag reviews, a luxury wish list, um makeup tutorials, like anything really. Um but on but just powder brush I kind of just like set the face and I kind of just pat everything in. And yeah. For eyeshadow I'm gonna be using single shadows from Dior. This one's in the shade 530 Tulan looks like this pretty little shimmery shade which i did get at the um the dior counter at dillard's i got a lot of my dior makeup at the dior counter and then this one is um six four eighty one poncho so i'm gonna take a big like fluffy brush like this one right here it's morphe jack and hill put a little bit on the back of my brush i'm kind of just gonna buff that into the, the crease and kind of buff that out into the outer edge of my eye just to give my eye some sort of definition, because I don't have that much definition in my eye because I am a, um, a plus size person. So I just like to buff that in to, to crease my eye. You know, just give it a little bit of definition. And I love the shade, it's like a cool tone, but not too cool toned. Or oh, I put a little bit too much on this eye. So what I'll do if I put too much eye, I just kind of like buff everything out. More on this eye, just to make it even. This is probably a little bit more than what I would do on a normal day to day basis, but I do use this one every day. That's why it's a little more um busted, if I will. Um, I think my finger actually, because you get a lot more pigment with shimmers on your finger. I'll kind of just like tap that in because I love eyeshadow, but I don't like doing a lot of it just because. I'm lazy and I don't like to do things. So yeah, and then I and then I'll take the same, 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 same exact brush right here and I'll just like blend everything in so that so it looks like everything is kind of like the same eye, like a real eye, but like not really in a way. I do my eyelashes at the very end. So next up the, ne the next step in my makeup routine is bronzer. So for bronzer, we're gonna be using this kind of oh powder spill on it. This Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess is one in the shade 01 Light. I love this bronzer. It's so big. It's, like, realistic to the, um, the Marc Jacobs bronzer. I use a big fluffy bronzer brush. Take a little bit on the back of my hand. And just blend that in. Now, I like Estee Lauder a lot. Some of their prices, some of their things are a little expensive. I love their, um, where is it? Their um, Hydra Fix Concealer, I do have it with me on hand today. I did not use it because it's more of like a winter shade for me. I got a shade too light for it to be like an everyday kind of thing. But I still love it. And yeah, now, now, now bronzer is my favorite part of my makeup routine, okay? So I do like to use a lot of bronzer. So since this shade is a little more shimmery, I am going to use a warmer bronzer now this is the drugstore bronzer physician's formula another great one is fenty beauty and tarte but this is this is this this physician's formula smells really really good it's just been my favorite for a while this this has lasted like three years and i haven't even hit pan yet which is kind of bad because i really shouldn't be using an expired makeup but whatever we don't care i mean 15 dollars is 15 dollars that i can put towards a chanel bag or something so i mean gotta do what you gotta do next step is blush obviously honestly i don't really like blush but i do like it a little bit so i don't spend blush i don't spend much time i mean i do have like one like blush thing i mean i have this tart and then i'm over here i have like a tom ford um compact 
with bronzer and highlighter in it. But I like to use this drugstore bron this drugstore blush. It's the Milani Baked Blush. And I take a little bit of it, put it on some on my nose, put a little on my cheeks, just to give my face some sort of blushy effect. Because I do like that sun-kissed look. Where it looks like you were just like burned by the sun. So um I do like that a little bit. Now I'll take a powder brush, my like, same MAC powder brush, and I kinda of just blend everything in just to kind of make it like all the same. For highlighter, I really don't support this brand anymore, but honestly they make really good highlighters. So this is Jeffree Star, the 24K palette. As you guys can see, I do use this highlighter a lot. And you know what? Actually, I'm not I'm not gonna use this. I'm gonna throw this away. Like that's some trash can now. I'm gonna use my Morphe X MUA, Manny MUA, and this one has two highlighters I actually use every day in, but I forgot I even had this. I had strokes or something. But I take this shade and this shade kind of mix it together. Put a little bit on my my little like um cupid's bow, put a little bit on my nose, and I take a little bit on my cheeks. Just to give it some sort of highlight because i do like a little bit of highlight not gonna lie i'm not a big highlighter person but i love it now i'll go with mascara so i used an eyelash curler this is just from like revlon no this is like from tweezer man i don't know the tj maxx brand or something my mom has a mac eyelash curler and i'm like what are you talking about why spend $20 on an eyelash curler? We can get the same exact thing at TJ Maxx for like $20. So I just, I just do that. I kind of just like do this. Like I open it and close it a lot so that it curls my eyelashes a lot. And then I'll go in with my waterproof um, mascara from Tarte. It's the Lights Camera Splashes. And that's the blackest shade. And then I'll do like three coats of this. Take some on this side. And that's how it looks. I'll then take a paper towel and wipe off my hands, wipe off my lips. My lip gloss and my lipstick was in my Louis Vuitton toiletry 19. Now this is a very old one. Um, it's, the hardware is like tarnished, tarnished, and then the little tab is very patinaed, and inside's like ripping. But I got this for like two hundred dollars, and I'm like, yeah, I got off the real world like a year ago, before they discontinued everything. Um, I go with my Mac Blue lipstick. This is in the shade Velvet Teddy. I love this shade. It's like a pretty nude, like a mauve kind of tone. how it looks and then i go with my favorite lip gloss now if i'm not wearing lipstick i'll wear this i wear this like all the time it's this dior lip gloss in the shade the stellar gloss in the shade 640 take a little bit of this i love the wand applicator i'll put some over top of my lip gloss or my lipstick all right, now the last step in my makeup routine is setting my face. So I have to use the Dior Air Flash setting spray. Shake this up. Set my entire face. Beauty blender. Tap that all in. And there you go, that's the final look. Alrighty guys, I love you, bye.